What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So iOS 14.6 RC has been released to developers. So I have updated my 12 Pro Max to that version. Um, as you can see 14.6, it is about four and a half gigabytes in size. So a pretty good sized update. There are some uh, new features that are being added, also some bug fixes. So I'm gonna quickly blast through everything that is new. So Apple Card family will be available in 14.6. This was announced at the spring loaded event, Apple's last event. Basically what this allows is five family members to be a part of Apple Card, as long as you're 13 years or older, uh, and you can essentially build your credit together. Um, it's pretty neat though, there is tracking expenses, you can manage spending with optional limits and controls, and like I said, the entire family can build their credit together, so very cool uh, feature. The podcast application will now have subscription support for channels and individual shows. I actually kind of been looking through here and I haven't seen any subscription-based podcasts, so maybe I'm just blind. Uh, but that is going to be a feature in 14.6. I did get a splash screen for this, as you can see here. So a new splash screen. Uh, it's slightly different than the previous beta. So if you guys want to pause and read that, but you'll get a new uh, splash screen and you'll also have, like I said, the ability to have paid subscriptions in the podcast application. A couple of updates in the Find My application for AirTag. Uh, so lost mode for your AirTag now allows you to use an email instead of your phone number. So if you don't feel comfortable having your phone number displayed when someone scans your AirTag, you can have just your email uh, displayed there so they can then email you uh, to let you know that they found your item. Now I don't use accessibility, but this seems very interesting uh, part of this update. And it's uh, for those of you that use voice control, uh, you can unlock your iPhone for the first time after restarting uh, and just using only your voice to unlock your iPhone. I thought that that was a really interesting update. I also wanna mention in Apple Music, if we go ahead and jump in there, um, we will be getting spatial audio and also lossless um, music within the Apple Music application. Uh, this is super exciting. I actually use um, Tidal to get lossless music. Well, supposed to be lossless. There's a lot of controversy around Tidal, uh, but Apple Music is getting it and they are getting the spatial audio. So this is gonna be huge, especially for those of you that have the AirPods Max or high-end you know, headphones. Uh, you can really tell a difference when you're listening to lossless music. Now, um, one caveat to this is that they are pretty, pretty large files when you're streaming them. So if you're going to be using uh, lossless music on your cellular data plan, it does use a lot of data. So if you guys don't have unlimited data, uh, watch out for that, but this is something I am super excited for because I'm a huge fan of high-end audio and lossless music. I think that uh, it's really nice to be able to listen to high-quality music uh, when you want to, and I'm very curious about the spatial audio being implemented as well. I thought that that was really cool. And now aside from that, there's just been a few different bug fixes, um, you know, like uh, unlock with Apple Watch may not work after using lock iPhone on the Apple Watch, so when you would have your face mask on, you unlock your iPhone. Um, if you denied it on your Apple Watch, then it wouldn't let you actually unlock your iPhone again, which was a really weird bug. Um, also, there was an issue with reminders not appearing, and they were basically looking like blank lines. I never had that issue. Uh, call blocking extension may not appear in settings. Also, Bluetooth devices could sometimes disconnect or send audio to a different device during an active call. Now, I didn't have issues with active calls. Um, I had issues with losing Bluetooth connectivity. Now, I experienced this with my X2 controller. I did do a review of this controller. And while I was playing games, I would occasionally lose Bluetooth connection to my 12 Pro Max on the previous beta. So hopefully that bug is fixed on this version. Also, an iPhone may experience reduced performance during startup. That's not anything I ever experienced. I know some of you have, I've heard a lot about it. So I didn't. I don't know what it was like exactly, but uh, I never had that issue. Now I did do a Geekbench um, run on this test as well, or on this version. Um, as you can see, I scored a 1602 for single core and 4210 for multi 
core. Uh, it, it is a bump up from the previous beta, so it's nice to see that this has uh, some some better performance than the previous version. Uh, like I said, my biggest issue on this on the previous beta was battery life. Uh, I had terrible battery life on my 12 Pro Max, so hopefully the RC version of 14.6 uh, does fix it. And that's basically it for the update. Uh, some new features, some bug fixes, and uh, yeah, we should be seeing iOS 14.6 released to the public here pretty soon. Um, now I do want to mention some jailbreak related stuff. This isn't going to be an official jailbreak update. This is more focused on 14.6. But I do want to remind you guys that we still have a bug that has not been released. I'm going to go ahead and jump into GitHub here real quick. So if we go to GitHub and we hop over to Modern Poner. If you guys don't know who Modern Poner is, he is the gentleman or person that released the Secuta Verosa bug, which was used in the iOS 14.0 through 14.3 uh, jailbreak on uncover and touring and i like to mention here he still has this pac bypass and as you can see 14.5 is mentioned there so maybe this is something that 14.6 patches or at least i hope it is uh, because if it is this is something that we could use potentially or potentially implement into updating those jailbreaks for all devices up to maybe 14.5.1, which would be really cool. But like I said, this is not an official jailbreak update video. Uh, stay tuned, I will be doing uh, an official jailbreak update here in the next couple of days, uh, maybe even tomorrow at some point where I'm going to talk about uh, a lot of jailbreak related content. There's been a lot of updates to certain things, so I do want to do a dedicated video for that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this iOS 14.6 RC update video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.